Hi guys, so today we're going to be working on a carousel animation in PowerPoint, like the one that was shown in the preview. So let's run the intro and get straight into it. Okay, so what you need is you need a few pictures or some newspapers like was shown in the preview and you need at least three. So um, in the preview I had 10 um, different um, newspapers. We're just gonna work with seven today because it might make it a bit easier. Um, and you just wanna um, copy it into your um, PowerPoint. So here, here are my um, newspapers. So I've got some different size new papers. They're all the same height. So uh, you don't need to make it all the same height. You can work on that later. But um, I've just got it all the same height just to make it a bit easier. So um, what I'm going to do is you need to make a few slides. First, what I'm going to go is go layout and make it blank. So I've just got a blank slide to work with. Okay, so what we want, the way the the uh, carousel works is that you need to make uh, as many slides as there are images. So um, here we need seven slides because there's seven images. And we're not going to make the seven slides yet. We're just going to stick with one and I'm just going to turn off the design ideas here. And what you want is you need to change the transparency and also you can add shadows and etc. But let's just um, get right into it. So you need to choose a image or newspaper that you want to start off with. And I'm just going to start off with this limerick leader here, right? Uh, so I'm just going to go um, align middle and align center. So that's now perfectly in the center. And let's just move out these out of the way okay so we're gonna make this a bit bigger so I'm gonna hold control and shift to make it just get bigger um, from the center so I'm gonna make it uh, let's say that big okay um, now so we need um, two next to it so we're gonna put um, this um, killed Kenny people um, one just beside it and it's just gonna go slightly underneath right like about uh, let's make it so that just hits right there so the left side of it is right in the middle and then we'll put um this other um this other newspaper in there as well so um if you can see you you can do this as um whatever looks good for you um let's just make this so this isn't the same okay so um now what i need to do is i need to need to make these a bit smaller so i'm going to co go control shift again to make them go in in like that um, I think that's nice. I'm just gonna move it a bit more in, and that's our first um, our first layer. So you can actually just do three if you want to, but I'm just gonna do seven. Um, so I'm just gonna do the same thing for um, the next one. So I'm just gonna speed it up, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I've got them all um, perfectly in line um, and what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to highlight them all. I'm just going to go align and go align middle. So it's just all, each of them is in the middle and then I'll have to just go through them one by one. So I'm just going to go align middle, align middle. You might not see any difference um, when I do this. It's just, I'm just checking that it's right center. And for the center one, I can just also do align center just to check that it's also in the middle we want it to be as in the middle as possible okay so we've got that there and so what we need to do is we need to add transparency so that it fades away into the background on this side here and on this side here so um, this one we're just going to leave um, but before we add any transparency what we want to do is we want to add some shadow so you can make as much shadow as you want I'm just going to go picture effects shadow and out I'm just going to do this one here just to give it a bit of shadow right okay so I'm just going to highlight all of this and then unhighlight by control, uh, holding control and then pressing this limerick leader here so that I'm unhighlighted that middle one. I'm going to put, um, uh, actually no I can't do that, uh, I need to just select one and go transparency. So I'm going to, you choose what suits you, I'm going to put 15% um, uh, transparency and 15% transparency on this one as well. You can change this later and I might change it later. But um, this I'm going to put 30%, this is going to be 30%. Um, and this can be all the way down to like 80% or even, yeah, 80%. Uh, I might um, put these a bit lower, so I put this maybe 65% um, transparent. 
55% transparent. Okay, and I could even make these 30% transparent and 30% transparent. So right now this doesn't look very good because you can sort of see the the um, the picture behind it because it's transparent. So what we have to do is we just click on any one, just go um, picture border. It doesn't really matter what you do. Uh, I'm just uh, I'm just pressing more lines just so that I can open this format picture tab. You're gonna open the fill and I'm gonna put solid fill. Um, and this is just going to be white solid fill. So now it's got um, a background, um, and I'm just going to hold all of them, go sh uh, all of this, and I'm just going to go more colours white. So here I've now got the thing that we want, um, and this is our first slide. So what you need to do now, I'll just run you through the second slide. So the way you do it, you just copy the first slide by con doing Control C, Control V, and then you move. Um, the you, you just want to copy um, one so I'm just going to copy Limerick Leader and put it caught to the corner there make it smaller so that it's right in line with the one before and then what you want to do um, before we continue you just want to go press on uh, on this and then go uh, even press on that and go format painter and go like that press on that go format painter and press on that press on that format painter etc etc let me just do that really quickly And then you might even want to um, do that same thing here or like that. Okay, so now these have the proper um, the proper uh, the proper transparency, which is good. So I can just check transparency is correct. That's correct, and this transparency should be that. Okay, so now I can move this back to where it was. It's there, and I'm just going to go to selection pane and just hide that because I don't need that anymore. Um, and then I'm going to move this down to here. I'm just going to make it smaller and then go align middle and then hide that and then move this to there and then make it smaller and then I just going to hide that. I'm going to move that across here and then I'm going to hide that, move this up here so that it's touching the corner, make it a bit bigger and then hide that. Do the same here. Hide that. Do the same here. And this one, I'm just going to make it um, completely bigger there. And then I'm just going to go picture format, line middle, oh, sorry, line middle, line center. Okay. So now I can delete this limerick leader and I'm just going to unhighlight everything else. So you can see some of it is poking out the wrong place. I'm just going to go send backwards just to make that there. And then I'm just going to also send this backwards so that that's all like it so now what i need to do is i need to put transitions and press morph so you can see now that works and that looks really good but i'm just going to make this um 0.75 just like that that looks really nice just, let's run that again just to see it again yeah okay so um th that that's the first one and you just need to do that for the next um however many slides i think um five more for me um depends on how many you've got and then and then we'll be done okay I'll see you uh, once I've finished. Okay, so I'm done. Um, I hope you are too. Um, so I've now got my seven slides of the different um, pictures that I want to focus on and they've all got the same transitions hopefully um, which is good um, and then I also need to do one last thing which is this advanced slide menu here I'm gonna actually have to highlight all of them and go uncheck on mouse click and check after and I'm just gonna put in 0.5 you can put whatever you want um, but I think 0.5 looks good so I'm just gonna run the slideshow to show you what it looks like So this is what our carousel, uh, our final carousel looks like, and I think it looks really, really nice, very aesthetically pleasing, and you can use it in um, in promo videos or um, on your websites or just in a PowerPoint presentation, um, and it looks really nice. So I hope that really helped you, and if it did, make sure to leave a like below and to smash that subscribe button so that you get notified on future videos released. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.